This is Serenity Ledger's video for this 2015 Cartago Chic Sea Line 2. Uh, tag axle, just under 9 metre motorhome with a fixed island bed. Uh, recently arrived with us and uh, currently for sale. Uh, Cartago don't need any introduction uh, other than to say they are particularly high end and very expensive when new German motorhome. Uh, this was uh, built obviously for the UK market and supplied uh, within the UK. It's running on a uh, Fiat Ducato. Um, it's got the uh, automatic transmission, uh, which is a nice and quite an expensive option when new. Better to have an auto with a motorhome of this size. Uh, so the video will give me an opportunity to point out any markings I can find to the camper, which people coming from some distance away do tend to find quite helpful. Uh, and on this, I tend to have a look at the motorhomes obviously quite thoroughly before they come in. Uh, and I will also um, have a look just before I make the video. So if there's anything that needs pointing out, it's fresh in my mind. Um, that is access to the garage. Actually, there's a bit pointless really in moving that door because it's black as anything in there. You can't see, but you'll be able to see from the other side. Um, markings to this side. Uh, 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 there was one coming up to it there. If you can see that, it's very small, very minor. Um, it has these sort of big extra, extra large lockers to the side. Uh, this has Gaslo on it, which is the refillable gas. Um, lots of nice little features all the way around the camper. It's expensively finished. Berry. This has spent a little bit of time in Europe. I mean, that's predominantly what they're designed for uh, with the previous keepers. Um, five meter uh, tool awning. And on this side, condition wise, uh, much the same as the other, to be fair. There is a, on the door, you see that there? Yeah, you can see that there. There's that mark. And that was about it from memory. Uh, you can't unfortunately see the back end particularly well because um, cause they've parked it so close to the wall. However, you've got your reversing camera, high intensity rear brake light, and I can assure you the condition of the plastics and everything else on the back is pretty much spotless. Same as the rest of the motorhome. If you're gonna buy one of these, you want one in pristine condition. Uh, without question. See the big coach mirrors on it. So, internally. Uh, okay, so we have got, as I said, Comfortmatic transmission, um, climate control, cruise control. Uh, it's got um, electric windows on the... Uh, uh, on the on the driver's door because there isn't a passenger one uh, lots of little features on Cotegos little storage compartments heated mirrors rear reversing camera blinds that are integrated into the sides and the front there's no curtain no wraparound curtain leather covered steering wheel uh, condition of these two front captain's chairs are well is rather uh, pristine completely unmarked Another nice little touch. That's made of wood. There we go. Uh, I can't put the bed all the way down because that would mean I'd have to put the seats down. But at least from here, you can get an idea of the mattress condition, which is spotless, completely unmarked. Individual lighting and it's got his own skylight up there. There's a net as well that stops anybody from falling down, which can be put up. Um, I'll stand back a bit and then I can give you a, a good shot of the lounge. There we go. So you've got two sort of forward facing seats here with inertia seat belts. There's a center section underneath here which comes out just underneath the table so you can get your feet on the ground when you're traveling. Um, nice big spacious comfortable sofa on this side the television is housed in here 
just comes up. Oh, yes, just comes up. Of course it does. Control panel. Albi central heating. It beautifully finished. It really is. You just wouldn't be disappointed with a Cotego. They are, and they're so well lit on an evening, as you can see. Really sort of cosy feel to them. Hasn't had a lot of use. Those brackets are just where just an additional sort of worktop clips in, giving you extra um, extra worktop space without stating the obvious. Freezer at the top, and then this is the, oh, this is the oven. Freezer underneath. Just little features like that. And then our bedroom. So island bed modems are very popular. This is a quite a large bed, to say the least. Concertina blinds all the way round. There's plenty of room there to walk to the left and right hand side of the bed. Uh, you've got all this more, uh, sorry, more copious amounts of storage underneath the bed as well. Toilet C250 swivel electric flush. Again, lots more storage, beautifully lit, beautifully finished. I can't emphasize it enough. Every Cartago we've ever had here at Serenity has just been, they're just lovely. They really are. But then that all depends what you're looking for in a camper. Did you see those nice lights in the mirrors? Yes, there we go. Huh. Let's get rid of me. Uh, and then a separate shower with duckboard. It's a very, very nice shower. Up, um, uprated, um, upgraded uh, uh, water pumps on these, so you actually can have a decent shower with a decent amount of pressure. And should you want to, this door swings across, locks into place, and then the whole area just becomes even larger and uh, ensuite, which is rather nice. Uh, this is a fully winterized motorhome, so you can take it skiing. And it won't freeze up if I had this in February which is extremely unlikely then I will be taking it skiing because I always like to take a tag axle and an automatic one especially is particularly nice to drive all the way down to the French Alps uh, cannot fault the condition of the interior carpets were not down they were folded up so they didn't even need cleaning uh, and as I said, no markings to the worktops, no markings to the upholstery. Uh, you walk in, it smells exactly as it should do. You won't find any air fresheners in here trying to disguise any smells. Uh, we spend a lot of time on uh, preparing our motorhomes in respect of valeting, etc. This would have had, without uh, any doubt, and it wasn't even particularly dirty, uh, near on three days spent on it just to get it in, uh, in the condition that you'd want to see it in. And that's no exaggeration, because I told John off our valet of spending too long on it. But there we go. Right, okay, hope you find that helpful. That completes Serenity Leisure's video for this 2015 Cotego.